Hi everyone, today we will continue with divide fractions. Our objective is to divide a fraction by another fraction. Let's practice dividing a fraction by a fraction. We can find one-fifth divided by two-thirds. First, we rewrite the division as multiplication using the reciprocal of the divisor. We can find the reciprocal by switching the position of the fraction's numerator and denominator. The reciprocal of two-thirds is three-halves. Now we're ready to multiply the fractions. Multiply the numerators first. One times three equals three. Next, multiply the denominators. Five times two equals 10. So one-fifth divided by two-thirds equals three-tenths. Let's try another example. We can find seven-ninths divided by one-half. First, rewrite the problem using multiplication and the reciprocal of the divisor. The reciprocal of one-half is two over one. Multiply the numerators. Then, multiply the denominators. When the numerator is greater than the denominator, write the answer as a mixed number. Divide the numerator, 14, by the denominator, 9. So 7 ninths divided by 1 half equals 1 and 5 ninths. In page 613, in question number 7, 5 over 14 divided by 4 over 7. So write the dividend and change division to multiplication. And the reciprocal of 4 7th is 7 4th. Now we can simplify. Divide by 7. 14 divided 7 is 2. And 7 divided 7 is 1. So, 5 multiplied 1 is 5. And 2 multiplied 4 is 8. In question number 8, the dividend is 5 eighth And change the division to multiplication. And the reciprocal of half is... 2 over, 2 over 1. We can simplify this. Divide by 2, it will be 4. Divide by 2, it will be 1. Now multiply. 5 multiplied by 1 is 5. And 4 multiplied by 1 is 4. Now, 5 fourth, the numerator is greater than the denominator. So we will write this as a mixed number. And 5 divided 4 is 1, because 1 multiplied 4 is 4. The remainder from 5 is 1. So it's 1 and 1 fourth. In question number 9, the dividend, 7 over 12, multiplied by, the reciprocal of the divisor is 4 thirds. Now we can simplify 12 and 4. Both are divisible by 4. 12 divided 4 is 3. And 4 divided 4 is 1. Now 7 multiplied by 1 is 7. And 3 multiplied by 3 is 9. And this is the simplest form. In question number 10, the dividend to 7th and change division into multiplication and the reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. Now I can simplify 2 and 7, so I will multiply 2 by 2, it will be 4, and 7 by 1 is 7, and the answer is 4 7th. Seventh. Now it's your turn to try to solve questions 11, 12, 13, and 14. And I'm waiting for you to see the answer. I recommend you to boost the video 
and try to solve and come back and see the answer okay so stop the video now go and solve by yourself and come back to see the answer okay guys i'm waiting for you welcome back in question number 11 4 ninth multiplied by the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2. We can simplify. Divide by 2, it will be 2. Divided 2, it will be 1. And also, I can simplify 3 and 9. Divide by 3, it will be 3. And 3 divided 3 is 1. Two multiplied one is two, and three multiplied one is three. So the simplest form is two thirds. In question twelve, the dividend, as it is, multiplied by the reciprocal, the reciprocal, and we can simplify. Divide by. 4, excellent, divided by 4 it will be 2, divided by 4 it will be 3, 7 multiplied 2 is 14, and 3 multiplied 1 is 3, now the numerator is greater than the denominator, so we will write this as a mixed number, okay, let's do this, 14 divided by 3. At first, try the denominator as it is. 14 divided by 3 is 4. Because 4 multiplied 3 is 12. The remainder from, from is 2. 14 minus 12 is 2. So the remainder is 2. In question 13. 3 tenth as it is. Of course, multiply. And the reciprocal, 5 thirds. Excellent. Simplify. 3 divided 3 is 1. 3 divided 3 is 1. Of course, we can simplify also. 5 and 10. Divide by 5. It will be 2. Divide by 5. It will be 1. Now multiply. 1 by 1 is 1. 2 multiplied 1 is 2. In question 14, write the dividend as it is, as it is, change, reciprocal, simplify. Now, I can simplify 5 and 8 together because they don't have a common factor. So I will multiply. 2 multiplied 8 is 16. And 5 multiplied 1 is 5. Now you can see that the numerator is greater than the denominator. So we will write this again as a mixed number. Write the denominator as it is. And divide 16 by 5. Of course, it's 3. Great. So, 3 multiplied 5 is 15. And the remainder from 16 is 1. So, the answer is 3 and 1 fifth. And 1 fifth. Thank you, guys. That's all for today. Goodbye.